Hey everyone, enjoy this free sample from one of my online workshops available at matthewbird.com. My classes are about 10 to 12 hours of content as I walk you through my entire painting process from start to finish. It's a great way to learn at your own pace because you can watch these as much as you want, whenever you want. I include a sample of my drawing, detailed reference photos, color breakdowns of various elements within the painting, along with a comprehensive materials list so you know everything that I'm using. If you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe so I can make more content like this. But for now, enjoy this little sample. This is from a larger still life workshop. It's available at matthewbird.com and feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Thanks. Hello friends, welcome to my studio. I'm Matthew Bird and this is Lessons in Realistic Watercolor. Hello friends, welcome back. I'm sitting down for a fresh painting session today and before I dive into that I thought I would pop this up on the screen so you can see what my painting looks like at this stage. Now yours might be different if you're working in a different order than I am which is fine but this is how mine's looking and I'm pleased overall. We're making some good progress here and I, I think we're on track for a great painting. So, as promised, today I'm going to get into the mangoes. They're going to be fun, but also there's some challenge to it. So, the mango on the left, obviously, we're going to work wet into wet, get these lovely magentas mixing into this warm greenish yellow, which is fun. I love painting that kind of thing. Lots of layers, glazing, building up the values and the saturation, and it just making it look yummy. Wet into wet is going to be our our technique. So color wise, I'm just going to grab a piece of scrap here and zoomed in on my palette. I still got this swap here from the mandarins, but I will probably use some of that orangey color. Um, but for the sake of making things clearer for you. Um, I think there's probably going to be three, but I always underestimate how much color or how many colors I use. I love color. And so often we'll use more than I say I will. So there's my red. Um, Whatever your preferred red is. Permanent Lizard and Crimson. Quinacrone Red. Doesn't matter. I'm going to use a little burnt orange, I think. A little bit of yellow. Maybe Cad Yellow Light. Or Medium. And the red. And then I think... So, let's just say white into wet. Got the shape roughly there. Grab some of this yellow, which will be on the right side. The very, the very left edge, I'm picking up some magenta or, or pink. So I might do that over here. And then my red. I'm not gonna worry about the highlight. I'm just testing colors here. that red and yellow to get our orange. The yellow is never going to be uh, pure yellow on this. It's kind of got the a greenish 
cast to it. So I'm going to dip into my green gold here for the lower right quadrant. orange get that dark all right I think that's I mean, it doesn't look exactly right, but um, with enough layers and glazing, it'll, it'll really intensify and we'll get the values right. But color-wise, that's what I'm thinking. So, same thing. Start with some yellow. I'm putting that down wherever I see that greenish yellow and orange. But I'm not going to do the whole, I'm not going to do a whole underpainting of yellow because the left side of this has that pinkish magenta. I don't want any yellow mixed in with that. Now I'm going to connect that with my red. Oops, I just went right over my highlight. Good job, Matthew. some of the green and gold. And this is burnt orange. You use burnt sienna too. If you want, start getting some darks over on that side as it curves around away from the light we're going to get much much darker as we build that up down here as well be a little hint of the underside that's starting to get dark and i think we just want like a rainbow or most of the rainbow <laughs> of colors here i'll just mixing softly wet into wet it doesn't need to be perfect match to your reference. Just let the watercolor do what it does and get some lovely tones. I'm gonna switch up my brush here. Just fill in the highlight so we don't have that hard edge. Slightly damp. I think that's going to be about it for this first first pass. I'm going to keep an eye on that highlight, make sure it doesn't fill in too much since it's it's been wet entirely. Um, paint will move in there, and I'm going to keep an eye on that, and make sure it doesn't get too dark. But overall, just let your first wash sit. If you want to tilt your paper a little bit to move that wash around, get some soft bleeds, you can. Otherwise, just let it do its thing. 
and we'll come back with a, another layer shortly. Now that this is all dry, I'm going to come back and just do the same thing and build up these colors and values, making sure I'm getting dark over here, um, but just increase in saturation, but uh, keeping it wet into wet the whole time. This dark I'm adding here, I am introducing a little bit of a variation on what I did the first time, so I lied. It won't be an exactly a re repeat step. Um, so I did add a little uh, violet um, Maybe a little burnt sienna mixed in there to darken that up. So we got a little bit of a shadow here from the mandarin bowl. And then as that moves around, I'm gonna introduce some Van Dyke Brown over on the right side here to push those values a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing. Otherwise, the colors have been the same. What can I say? I like color. Looks like my surface is starting to dry a little bit here, so things are not blending together as nicely as I would like. Usually if you do that, you gotta just come back in and make sure you get everything equally wet, otherwise you're gonna get some weird bleeding. Probably gonna have some trouble now that I did that. Oh well.
Thanks for staying till the end. I hope you enjoyed what you saw, a little window into my studio and how I approach still life painting. There's lots more where that comes from, so check it out at MatthewBird.com. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.